In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So guys, if you are old there, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. And go to your file menu and select new. So we are going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels. The resolution should be 300 and RGB for social media post now this is our working area go to your test document to copy this color code over here then come to your fill color select solid color ctrl plus v to paste then also copy this second code here ctrl plus c to copy then go to your fill color select solid color ctrl plus v to paste and now change the bloody mode to soft light And we are going to draw a rectangle over here. Drag it down. Then change the color to this orange color over here. Then increase the size. Now we are going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Or you drag it over here to duplicate it and move it and position it over here now we are going to draw another one to cross it something like this now bring it and cross it here then we are going to duplicate this one then you bring it down so now we are form hash tag now so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click and merge it together. Then right click and uh, skew it. Now apply the skew to form it this way. Okay. Then we are going to set a guideline so that we will not pass the limit. 5% Then go back and do the same thing. So now we are done with the gal line. Then I'm going to import this image position it over here then use your arrow key then to bring it down or your mouse circle like this then we are going to increase the hashtag now adjust the image increase it a bit And use your arrow key then to move it so this position is okay now hold your control key while you click on that thumbnail then apply your layer mask so then it will form this what you are going to do now select your brush then select soft brush so under general brush that is where you will see it your soft brush and ensure your background is white before you apply the cleanup then we are going to copy our test ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the font size So I will position it over here. Okay. Then go back to your test document. Then make a copy of this one. 
select your text to using T. T on your keyboard is the shortcut. Then change the color to white. Also change the font to Brittany Signature. Then increase the font size. Then position it using the guideline so that you're not past the guideline. So right. Now we are going to position this one, increase it a little. Then we are going to duplicate that test and drag it down. Then you leave it at this position for now. Why we are going to amend it, then Ctrl plus A to alight. Then come over to your test document, copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, change the font color to white, then change the boldness from semi bold to medium or regular, so I'm going to use regular here. Now reduce the font size. And we are going to duplicate this one as well. So select it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, or you drag it down over here. Then you bring it down. Then go to your test document to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then T for your test to alight it. Ctrl plus A to alight. Ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to use the font password then make it bold then increase this font size now we are going to change the font color to black so select your test tool then type this sign plus and we are going to choose a white off white color from here Then we are going to change the font to Kenyan Coffee Fonts and choose bold interlink, increase the size. Something like this. All right. Then now. Select your brush, then use the brush afternoon. So I'm going to select the second one, the afternoon two, and I'm going to apply brush at the top here. Make sure that you create a new layer as you see so. Then somewhere around here, and go to the right. Also apply it somewhere around here. Okay. So the opacity we are going to reduce it. So here is seventy one percent. So I think that is not enough. So we are going to reduce it more. So 41%. So if you want, you can reduce the opacity more as you desire.
then import this dot dot then I'll position it over here now duplicate it and drag this one to the right side Okay, so the next thing we are going to create a test. Then drag your hand. All right, and we are going to change the color to black. Then also we are going to change the fonts to Advert Pro. All right, so what I did, I did is to centralize the test. You can use another test to replace this one. So this is just for tutorial purpose. So you can choose any of your best tests to replace this. So what I'm doing is to select a soft brush. So as you can see the process, then click over here and hold your shift key while you drag it down then position it over here then we are going to reduce the opacity to 50 percent so we have great a shadow at that point so i'm going to create a test effect to that hashtag using inner shadow so this is the color code i use and over here then copy the setting so these are the settings used and the opacity then you click ok to apply it so at the edges of this hashtag then you cannot see the changes there so now i'm going to import this light flare then change it, the blending mode to screen then take it to the top over here then apply cut blur cushion blur then 22.2 percent okay then apply a layer mask select your brush and clean the edges over here All right, so we are going to import the second light flare. Then position that one over here. Then go to your bloody mode and change it to screen. Then leave it at this position or anywhere you desire, then you can place it. So if you want, you can also blow the light effect then go back to this name select it increase the size then you drag it down I will leave it at this position reduce this one all right So the last thing I'm going to apply a light effect at the background there. The size of the brush is okay. So something like this. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity 
to 70 percent that is all for this thank you so much guys for following if you like this video please subscribe don't forget to share if you need any of my flyer guys so you can use the link in the description then register for the fiber accounts and order any of your flyer through the fiber account and if you want to optimize your video you can also use the link of two body accounts in the description register it and optimize your own channel thank you so much for following i appreciate